So we have a developing story out of the east side of Dayton tonight. Police say a drive through owner shoots a man who's trying to rob his business. It happened just before 9 in the 3500 block of Linden Avenue. Our Elise Coulter live at the still very active scene. Elise? Jackie, you're exactly right. Police tell us who I just spoke to the lieutenant about 30 minutes ago, and he tells me two men armed with guns came into the third base drive through. Now, I want to take you to the scene or what's left of the scene behind me tonight. Just a few cruisers remain, but earlier, I'll tell you, there were at least 20 cruisers out here combing the area. Now, what I'm told from the lieutenant is that the owner saw the attempted robbery happening on his surveillance video inside his office. He came out, fired one shot, which actually hit one of the suspects. That suspect ran across the parking lot into the hasty, tasty pancake house where he later collapsed. That suspect was taken to Miami Valley Hospital in serious condition. I'm told he was shot in the chest. The second suspect, however, fled on foot. Police tell me they believe he fled on the bikeway path that is behind this drive through but canine units were out here searching for him for quite a while but did not find that suspect he is described as a white male about six foot tall wearing a dark brown or a dark colored hoodie now we did ask the lieutenant if the uh, owner of this drive through would be facing charges tonight i'm told that he uh, will not likely face any charges because he was defending himself inside his own business, believing that there was an attempted robbery about to happen. Now, we are told this is the third robbery or attempted robbery here in the last several years. So police, again, are continuing to search for that second suspect, again described as a white male, six foot tall, wearing a brown or dark colored hoodie. If you see him, you are asked to call police. We're now reporting live in Dayton, Elise Coulter, ABC 22 News.